tonight, 11 years of Coast to Coast. This was Programme 1. The people who made the news, a chance to meet them again. And a look back at the bits you weren't supposed to see. Good evening and welcome to the final edition of Coast to Coast. At midnight tonight, TVS goes off the air after 11 years of broadcasting to the south and the southeast. In that time, Coast to Coast has established itself as the country's most popular regional news programme. And tonight, in a special hour-long show, we'll be looking back at the Coast to Coast years and meeting many of the people who've become our friends over the past decade. Where are they now and what does the future hold for them? First, though, a roundup of today's main stories here in the southeast. A family who were robbed at gunpoint now at the New Year weather. Tonight will be frosty with fog patches, especially in low-lying inland areas. Tomorrow, a mostly sunny day with light southerly winds and temperatures up to 5 degrees Celsius. Welcome back to tonight's very special Coast to Coast, the final edition of the programme. Over the next hour, we'll be reliving some of the most memorable events which we've covered over the past decade. And we're especially delighted to welcome an audience into our studio. Among the many familiar faces, people who've been in the news for sad reasons or for happy reasons, all of them people who've been part of the Coast to Coast years. It all began in a tiny studio in Dover on January the 1st, 1982, when TVS gave the South East its own news program for the first time. Good evening and a warm welcome to the first edition of Coast to Coast. I'd like to begin by wishing you a happy and above all a peaceful new year. This morning the TVS flag was raised by our chairman Lord Boston of Faversham over the new studio complex at Vinters Park in Maidstone. When it's completed it'll be the permanent home of Coast to Coast in the southeast. But until then we'll be bringing you coast to coast from our studios in Dover and I hope you'll get to know us as well as we want to get to know you. Well that's our news today, a special day, but for some men at sea near our coast it's been just another working day with no alcohol to help celebrate the new year. I'm terribly sorry, we seem to have lost uh, the sound on that story, but we'll certainly go on with the rest of the news for today. <laughs> and uh, I'd like to welcome another fellow sufferer from the very early days of Coast to Coast, Mr. Mike Fuller. <laughs> How are you, Mike? I'm very well. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, that, that, brings back, that brings back memories, doesn't oh, I, it, I, when we all started? Uh, yes, I just, I'd forgotten that until <laughs> that awful moment. We all tried yes, to. I, actually, there's something else I'd forgotten as well. There's that pen I borrowed in 1983. <laughs> That's where it was. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the a bit, TVS pen. It's chewed at the end, so I knew that it was yours. And your hair's grown in the middle. It meantime. has. I haven't had it cut since then. And, um, yeah. Those early days were, were really chaotic. Um, do you think the public noticed? No, no, no. I think we got away with it. Did we get away with Every it? Every night, yes. Oh. Oh. No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't get away with it. Anyway, it's lovely to see you again, Mike. Uh, people will be aware that you've been doing all sorts of other TV programmes which have allowed you to grow your hair long. Y yes, because I don't appear on the television anymore. I, I sit in an office and produce from behind the scenes so you can have long hair and, you know, flowery ties. and You don't have to clean your shoes anymore, either. Oh, no. <laughs> they wouldn't have noticed if you hadn't said it. It's lovely to see you again. And um, hopefully things have, have got a little better since then, but not always. They've, in fact, there have been about 3,000 editions of Coast to Coast, which means we've now covered well over 30,000 news stories. But there is no doubt which was the most difficult we've ever had to report on. The date was March the 6th, 1987. The Herald of Free Enterprise set sail from Zeebrugge bound for Belgium. <laughs> Well, 
If you've been a regular Coast to Coast viewer over the years, you'll know we always like to leave you with a laugh. And tonight is no exception. What's happened here at Coast to Coast is that we can't bring you any of our normal reports at the moment because uh, of machine problems. But I think we can probably bring you our news items instead. Ray Rogers, Coast to Coast. I've forgotten where I am. <laughs> Hopefully the success for the relaunch of the Sinclair will continue. The attempt has been made on the world. The battery's gone flat. Was it a case of come down every morning and, and find that things noticeably worsen? Can I stop you there? Yeah. We're in a bungalow. You won't come down well, either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me, I made a mistake. Earlier, <laughs> earlier on talking about parking in Brighton, I told you that they were towing away a million cars illegally parked an hour. Of course, that's absolutely ridiculous. They're towing away two million illegally parked cars an hour. I do apologise for that. It's one parked car illegally parked an hour that they are towing away in Brighton. And I made a mistake and I grovel and cringe and I'm very sorry. Well, it's not like us, is it? Ah, uh, sure now. Quarrel, uh, sport. <laughs> this apparently was the try of the game, scored by the Navy. But who's got the ball? This is, uh... <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> when an attempt is made on the world land speed record for electrical vehicles. It's very well fated, this, isn't it? He achieved his ambition to become a Gauleiter, not in Kent, but in Romania, where his... I'm sorry, I nearly fell over. It's like there's rubber ones you pick up and sort of wobble about. I'm not at all confident about this bulletin. <laughs> Put the microphone on. Hear what I'm saying. Hang on a minute, just chat amongst yourselves. Here we go, right. Only kidding. <laughs> We've got our mics on. Mark Bishop, coast to coast, Selinge. You happy? The best props I've ever worked with. the bits you weren't supposed oh. to see but I'm glad you did. <laughs> now before we go we must of course wish you all a very happy new year. Oh and by the way if you're looking for a, a new year's resolution <laughs> uh, how about promising yourself a real treat? Yes we have got a few coast to coast books still left. Only one or two people in southeast England haven't got them because they only cost £8.95 all profits to the RNLI and of course our videos are now on sale as well. But that's just about it from Coast to Coast. A brand new news service, Meridian News, starts on this channel tomorrow. And from next Monday, there'll be a half-hour news programme each weekday evening at 6 o'clock with some new faces as well as plenty of familiar old ones. So... Yeah, keep watching. And thanks again for your company over the past 11 years. To play us out tonight, who better than the band of the Royal Marines from Deal, playing a tune not usually found in their repertoire. From all of us here on Coast to Coast. Good night. Good luck. And goodbye. Goodbye.
Chris and Kathy do some talking, but actions speak louder than words for Frank in Emmerdale next.